Hey guys, welcome back to another Joe Muller food review. I got wind there's a new chicken place in Farmingdale, guys, called PDQ. And that stands for People Dedicated to Quality. How wonderful. We're going to check that out today, guys, and see how wonderful they really are. Up next, stay tuned. Okay, guys, we are here and we are parked. That place is freaking busy. PDQ, guys, brand new in Farmingdale. And I got the four tender meal with tots and I got some creamy garlic sauce to go with it. All right, got my little napkins. I guess I got a little salad here, guys. Didn't uh, think I'd get that. Here are my tots. How do they look? We got some tots going. Everything's placed in uh, nice and in, in nice boxes and stuff. And look at that. We got the creamy garlic. And I got another creamy garlic. So let's see what these chicken tenders look like, guys. Hmm. There you go. So I got four tenders. I got the tots. And this all ran me $10.31. And you get your drink included quite a bit all right let's try the tots one thing I do notice these boxes they're like really really like wet and damp from the the grease and the oil nothing really fan nothing really significant about those if you had a tater tot before in your life that's exactly what they taste like. Nothing special on the tots, guys. Just smells mayonnaise-y. I don't uh, smell any garlic. Let's see. Very sweet. They're not crispy. They're like very very greasy see from my hands very greasy guys seem kind of tender let's try them out a little uh, garlic hmm they're very tender very very good no um crispiness on the tender itself it's like um pretty much nondescript not much flavor there either guys a little more garlic you know really if it wasn't for the garlic aioli there's really not much flavor going on here I pick up a little hint of seasoning, maybe some kind of hot sauce or something that's in the batter, but nothing really significant that would warrant me paying ten dollars and seventy, I don't know, ten dollars and thirty-one cents for all of this. This is um, definitely um, overpriced. The creamy garlic 
It's very, very sweet. Mayonnaise-y. I'm not picking up any kind of significant garlic flavor. I'm not really that impressed. And these tots. They taste like your standard run-of-the-mill tater tots. Nothing special. The chicken, I thought, would have been a little bit crispy on the outside. No way is that happening. Very, very greasy. You can see from my hands how greasy it is. The tater tots. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the very best, what do you think, guys? What do you think I'm going to give it? PDQ, brand new in Farmingdale. I'm giving this a rock solid six. <clears throat> there is a lot of room for improvement here. And um, you're paying a premium for this stuff. And I don't think um, I'm getting what I deserve or the actual value. It's not there, guys. I wouldn't waste my time with this again. Not that great, and let's see what this is. Coleslaw. They throw that in, I guess, I don't know. Make you feel like you got something for free. To coleslaw is weak. It's not that great. It's bitter. PDQ. Not living up to the hype, guys. And there was a ton of people in there, and as you can see from the opening, this place was packed. I'm sure they're all going to walk out very, very disappointed. Yeah. No good. I really can't recommend this place, guys. You're going to be disappointed. Anyway. And they put it in, in these cardboard boxes that absorb all the grease and they get wet and they get gross and I don't know. Just not very well done. I don't understand why there's so many people in there waiting. Maybe it's the first time they've tried this stuff and probably the last anyway guys pdq brand new farmingdale long island causing all kinds of hype and uh it's not really living up to the hype guys and what did i give it a six there's a lot of room for improvement this was a definite disappointment the creamy uh garlic was very very like mayonnaise-y it didn't really have much of a garlic flavor. It was very sweet. I'm sure they put a ton of sugar in it. Even the Diet Coke is kind of like um, heavy on the, uh, the, 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 the water. It's not, it, it, it needs a little bit more um, syrup to taste good. It's one of those automatic machines. You go in, you pick your, you know, um, whatever you want to drink and it makes it for you on demand. And um, Either I haven't had Diet Coke in a long time or this sucks, and I think that this just sucks. So. It needs to be a lot sweeter. Because I'm kind of sour now, guys. I need some sweetness. All right, guys. That was my review. PDQ, you guys got the yellow light. Proceed with the utmost of caution. From the... Mobile Studio in Farmingdale. You guys take care. God bless and so long.